Hey, so we're just waiting to see if anybody pops on. And do a quick tour of the office, the current work in progress. That is my new workspace. So currently I am in the process of converting my spare room in the apartment to an office. Hey Kirk, how you doing? So I got this bookshelf here at Ikea for like $30. And got a dresser that I'm still in the process of putting together. And this is part of the reason why I got the dresser and the shelving because not much room to put anything, but there's my new desk. Picked this up on Amazon for like 60, 70 bucks. Yeah, exactly, Kirk. Um, this is where I'm going to do most of my um, video work and photo editing. I figure having a dedicated space as opposed to trying to do everything in shared living space in the living room of the apartment um, would make me a little bit more productive. my glass of bourbon because you can't do any renovations without, you know, at least a little bit of alcohol. <laughs> so you'll have to pardon the mess. This is very much a work in progress. This is just a sampling of the stuff I took out of that spare room that I need to find room for and then all of my photography equipment well most of all of my film cameras are currently mixed up between all of my camera bags or just lying around the apartment elsewhere especially after the showcase I had on Saturday Thanks. Oh, I gotta show you my, uh, I already showed Sal. I gotta show you my, uh, new bad boy. See, where I'm currently working from. Just my little MacBook that I got for my girlfriend for free. But this is going to be the subject of my first official shot and edited YouTube video. This is a Canon Canonat 28. It's a um, obviously a 35 millimeter film camera, but it's also what's called a rangefinder. And I'll get more into that into the video as well. But I picked this up at my local camera shop for uh, $5. And what I'm going to be doing on the shelf here after I get all of my equipment in there is my girlfriend has strings of LED lights and I'm gonna lay those probably along the bottom of the shelves so that way they're shooting up to give it a nice backlit feel and then we just picked up 
this new desktop system for myself. Nothing really extravagant or terribly pricey. Just picked up a uh, HP Pavilion system for like $600 at Walmart. I know, I know, I shopped at Walmart. Shame on me. But with 8 gigs of RAM and a terabyte hard drive space, it was a deal to pass up. So, but that's where we are currently. Everything is still in the process of being organized. And uh, plan, trying to plan on how I'm going to organize everything, where I'm going to put it all. Uh, camera bags are, well, as you can see, I have, well, just here, my shoulder bag, and then I have another backpack. But also, follow me. I have one more that I picked up from my local camera store and this bad boy has like a ton of storage space including my shotgun mic which will come in handy once I actually start regularly shooting YouTube videos. I've got room for lenses and then my film cameras and then other storage space right in there. I'll probably do a uh, full YouTube video on this camera bag as well. It's made by Low Pro picked up my local camera shop like I said it's actually really nice I like it plenty of storage for everything including uh, tablet and laptop storage so if I need to take any equip any of that equipment with me on a shoot I've got that handy but yeah just wanted to pop on real quick do a quick video show what I've been up to as of late <laughs> storage is very much a necessity Kirk as I've quickly run out of space it's nice to finally be in a position to have storage space or anything this bookshelf is going to by the time I'm done with getting everything all set up this bookcase is going to be full of camera equipment this obviously full of clothes then I can finally get rid of this little metal shelf and I've got some of my SD cards in here always handy to have But on the top there's my two film cameras, my T6i and my T3, or sorry, digital cameras. Right there, along with my multitude of manuals for the new computer, is my rolls of 120 film for my twin lens and my Agfa Billy Record, which I'll be getting into in future videos, but also my Canon Rebel uh, X that my ex-wife actually gave me and got me back into photography. And then I have one of my drones down here. Let me grab this and bring it back to where it's a little bit better lit. So 
This is something I picked up, I think, from either Geek or Wish. It's a uh, Mavic Pro clone. It's a nice folding quad copper copter. Try and do all this, trying to do all of this one-handed certainly makes it interesting. They have a little button on the bottom there, that little silver spot. So you can unlock the arms so it can fully extend and then these legs clip into place. The only thing I need to do uh, because when I moved from New York to Massachusetts, I accidentally left the battery charger in my old apartment in New York. So now I need to get a new uh, battery charger. So if anybody knows where I can get a really good deal on battery chargers for, um, where did it go? For these types of batteries with this type of connector, Please, feel free to let me know. Leave me a comment below. But, there's the drone, fully extended. Even has a little, I don't know if you can see it that well, a little 720 resolution camera in the front. Not the best quality, but certainly passable. And I figure it's easier to invest in something like this easier to invest in a cheap drone like this right now while I hone up on my flying skills before I spend thousands of dollars on a Mavic Pro or something similar. So there we are. It's a nice new home. Yeah, I'll have to check Amazon Kirk. And then the remote. And I had somewhere, oh there it is the clip for the back there. so I can attach my smartphone to this so I can actually see what the camera sees while I'm flying it but it's just one of my drones. The other one is currently in the car. And the girlfriend has the car right now. She's going out to do her female things. But just wanted to stop in, say hi, give everybody a feedback. Oh, absolutely. Definitely is the way to go, Kirk. Um, it's better to spend $30 or $40 on a cheap drone, get used to the controls, than spend $1,000 on a Mavic Pro or a Phantom 3 only to crash it regularly and then end up destroying it. So, but I'm going to pop off here for a minute. 
got some more building to do and as we can clearly see until I have a <coughs> mount for my cell phone um, doing everything in one hand is gonna be difficult but absolutely Kirk thanks for stopping by and uh, keep an eye on the channel cuz hopefully soon I'll be uploading uh, regularly all right, man, Kirk, you have a good day. Hope you catch something good. <laughs> Bye.